Are you stuck trying to distinguish real signal from background noise in your qPCR data? A common question about qPCR data is how to distinguish true signal from background noise. Today, we're going to provide some useful tips on how to tell whether you're looking at real signal or background. Sometimes, when you're running qPCR experiments, it can be difficult to distinguish real data from background signal, leaving you to wonder whether your data is real. Here are some of the parameters to check to determine whether you are looking at background or noise. First, make sure to run a no template control to compare your experimental samples. If your sample signal looks similar to your no template control, it's most likely background. Also, Check your replicates. If the CT values varies among the replicates, for example, 36, 37, and 40, then it's not likely real signal. You can also do a reality check on your CT values. In general, a single copy detection occurs by a CT of 37 in a 20 microliter qPCR. Any signal seen later than this is not likely to be real amplification. Often, you can easily tell whether you're looking at true signal or noise by looking at your data in the instrument or cloud software. Here's an example using the Thermo Fisher Cloud Design and Analysis application. These wells are questionable. If we change our plots to linear view, we can see that these curves are actually flat and no amplification is occurring. We can see this in the multi-component view as well. This view shows the curves of each dye in the reaction at each cycle and is very useful for troubleshooting. In this way, we can check the curve's exponential amplification, which indicates real signal as opposed to a linear upward drift, which can be caused by probe degradation at the end of the run. We can even overlay the wells with our no template control samples and see that there's not much difference. So we can be confident that those wells did not represent real signal. Finally, you can also make sure the threshold is going through the exponential phase of the curve. For example, here you see that there are CTs at 28 and 36, but the curve with the CT value of 36 is from the plateau, not exponential phase. So this is most likely not real signal. So the next time you look at qPCR data, try some of these troubleshooting tips to determine whether you're looking at true signal or background noise. If you're still having trouble, we can help. Training courses on the principles of qPCR and data analysis are frequently held at our regional training centers. Check it out at thermofisher.com training. And if you have more questions on qPCR data analysis, or any other qPCR questions, remember to ask TACMAN and submit your questions on our website, thermofisher.com slash ask. Thanks for watching.